Let's take a look at whether LiI, that's lithium iodide, is ionic or covalent. So first off, if we look up lithium, that's right here. Lithium is a metal. Iodine right here, that's a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we're thinking that we have an ionic compound. But it's always a good idea to check when you have a small element like lithium or beryllium or fluorine. Let's take a look at the electronegativity to see if lithium iodide is ionic or covalent. So we find lithium here, that's 0 0.98, and iodine 2.66. So 2.66 minus 0.98, that gives us a difference of 1.68. So that's the difference in electronegativity between lithium and iodine. Let's see what that means. So we're kind of right on the line here with our definition between covalent and ionic. 1.7. Sometimes you'll see 2.0 is the transition from covalent to ionic. So we would say that this is right here, just about polar covalent or ionic. We can use something called Fajan's rules to help us figure this out. So the first question we ask, is the ionic charge, the positive charge, high? Well, lithium's in group 1. That's 1 plus, so it's pretty low. What about the size of the lithium ion and the iodide ion? Let's look at that. So this dark color is the ion. So here's lithium, that's really small. And then iodine, the iodide ion, that's pretty big. So we have a small cation and a large anion. Small cation, large anion, that tells us that we'll have a covalent compound. So most of this information here is pointing to a covalent compound. So we have our electronegativity and we have Fajan's rules. So lithium iodide is considered to be a covalent compound with a good bit of ionic character. That's the way we phrase it. So to recap, we have an electronegativity less than 1.7, and then we have a small cation and a large anion. We're gonna consider our bond to be covalent, and in fact, it'll be a polar covalent bond between the lithium and the iodide. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.